Well, this was my first year to go to the AAW convention. It was held in Raleigh, North Carolina, and I had a great time there. Met some great people, did some interviews, got some free product to do some videos on, and, which is one of them we're going to talk about right now. I met with uh, Nick Agar over at the Chroma Craft booth. I don't know if you saw my video of him giving a demonstration on the stencils. I have some here, and so we're going to try them out and see if, how easy they are. Never used them before, never done anything like this before. I do have quite a bit of experience with an airbrush, though, so I've got that going for me. But uh, we'll see how these go. These are uh, butterfly stencils. There's a two-pack. Here's this pack. And here's the outside shapes. And we're going to try these things out, see how they work out. I think they're going to be fun. I've got this uh, really nice bowl here. It's a sycamore, and it's going to have uh, a little inlaid rim on it. And probably I'll make this rim black and gold to match the monarch butterflies I'm going to do. So what do you think? Are you up for this? Stick around, watch my video. Don't forget to subscribe. And you might want to check out Chromacraft's website and Nick Agar. A lot of cool stuff on there. Okay, let's go. So the first pack I'm going to open here is this uh, peel-off stencil, and it's the uh, outside shape. It's butterflies. Let's see what we got here. We have two sheets, and it looks like um, we have three different sizes of butterfly outlines. Okay. So, you know, you pick a size, whatever's working, and I remember Nick saying that the more rounded your shape is, in other words, the smaller the circumference, the smaller the stencil. And that makes sense. Um, if you have a really small circumference and you try to put a big butterfly on it, their edges are gonna get wrinkled, it's not gonna go down flat, and when you spray it, it's gonna mess up. So you always have to size your stencil to the piece of work that you're doing. And that, that makes sense, okay? So let's see, what do we got here for this bowl? And this is what comes in it. We've got eight butterflies that are the same size, the large ones. Then we've got six medium-sized ones. And then we've got eight small ones. So what we can do is we can use one of each. So I'm going to peel off one of these, one of these large ones right here. And I'm going to just take this right off. We're going to be careful we don't get anything on the back side. Make sure it's pressed all around, like so. Then we're going to take uh, one of these medium ones.
making sure all the bubbles are out, making sure the edges are nice and pressed in, nice edges. And we're going to take this little one right here. Put her right there. That looks good. We're going to go with that. And we're going to blow this off to make sure we don't have any dust on here lightly. Got my trusty Iwata Eclipse airbrush. This is my second Iwata. Nice airbrushes, I like them. Solid. Okay, I'm gonna speed this up two times so we get through this quicker, okay? It's important to know that when you're spraying these stencils, the principle of less is more really applies here. You have to really know how to fog on the paint lightly, not heavily. Sometimes I'll use a shop towel to check my spray intensity. Keeps me on guard. I like it. I like it. I'm going to let that dry and then we're going to come back and put some embellishment on it. Okay, you may notice here that I put some little white dots on the outside of the butterfly swings. I did that using the stencil. The blue tape that you see is covering up the white dots so that when I spray the next color, it won't cover the little white dots. Okay, here's something that I noticed that you have to be aware of and watch out for. You saw me just do this side here, okay? Because the paint got on the plastic here, you have to wait till it dries before you do the other side because you have to flip it over and if you lay it down now, it smudges and ruins your work. So you have to stop what you're doing and you have to let this paint dry on your butterfly and on your stencil, okay? So it's, um, you know, it is what it is. 
be nice if there was two of these, one on each side, and then that way you could do them and, you know, but um, it is what it is. So we're going we're gonna to try to do this one down here now. I think we'll try this side first. If you've never used an airbrush, it'd be a good idea to practice a little bit before you started this project with the stencils. And just take the stencils and lay them on a piece of paper and spray around them. Get used to knowing how much pressure to put on your trigger to make sure the air and the paint comes out in the right mixture. Here's a real good example of making sure you know how to use an airbrush. This is way too much paint. you got to fog it out and apply it just little by little. I really blew it here. Okay, I painted the big body on the big butterfly using the stencil and I found it was pretty difficult for me with my big fat fingers. So I'm going to improvise here on the smaller butterflies. Okay, I discovered here that I was getting a little bit of overspray onto my bowl, so I got a shop towel and I'm using it now to catch the overspray and also to test my amount of paint and air I'm applying. <laughs> I'm attempting to outline the outside of the butterfly's wings with just a very, very hint of black fog along the edges, just to highlight the edge of the wings. Very delicate operation. Make sure you let your paint get good and dry before you peel off the outside stencil. Now it's time for the reveal. Let's take a look and see how we did.
Okay, here we are. Wow, that really came out nice. What do you think? Let me know down in the comments. I think I did pretty good for a beginner. Not too shabby. Couple of brush strokes for some antennae and we're all set. Time to move on to inlaying the outside rim. The first thing I've already done is I've put shellac around the rim here and of course you know that by now the reason I do that is to keep the CA glue from staining. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to put in some red. We, I, I'm, I want to use red on this outside to highlight the red of the butterfly in there. So we're going to use this uh, red goldstone. It's man-made. This is red calcite. It's clear and it's dyed red. Um, we're going to put that in the outside rim. Since this video is about the butterflies and the stencils, it's not about crushed stone inlay. We're going to zip right through this part where I'm inlaying the rim. If you want to see how crushed stone inlay is done, check out my series on crushed stone inlay by clicking on the little I button in the upper right hand corner. All of the crushed stone has been added in the rim and it looks great. Now we're going to put the glue in and solidify it. You can probably hear my ventilation going on in the background. Anytime I do this uh, CA glue stuff I have all my ventilation working high speed vacate the fumes. I'm going to use the thick and just lay a tiny bead of thick on the top of each of those grooves. Hopefully it'll slowly seep down and fill any voids that I have on the surface. set this aside here in the shop let that cure for a few days and then we'll come back and sand it polish it and we'll be all done okay the only thing left for me to do here on my butterfly bowl is to put it back on the lathe and sand the outside rim and then polish it so we're going to do that right now Okay, as you can see, we've got our rim all sanded. It's completely finished. All I got to do now is put a put a coat of uh, shellac on it or two, and uh, we'll be ready to present it.
Well, our bowl is finished with our Chromacraft stencil butterflies on it. As you can see, it really turned out nice. Uh, I'm pleased with it. Uh, since this is my first time, I think uh, I did pretty good. So it's a it's an easy project. I would just uh, mention one thing: if you're going to try this project, take some time and practice with the stencils, holding them in place, getting them just right, and uh, practice a little bit, and you'll find out that your project will come out way better. Okay? That was a fun project, and uh, I really enjoyed it. And thanks for the folks over at uh, Chromacraft for the free stencils. In any case, thanks for watching. Appreciate it. Let's get right to the end of it. If you haven't subscribed, click on my picture right there and ring the bell so you'll be notified. And I've got another video lined up for you right over there. Be sure and check it out. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. Oh yeah, share my videos with your friends. It helps grow my channel. Thanks a lot.